Hi friends, welcome back to Laravel 8 tutorial. In this video, we will discuss about Laravel middleware. Laravel provides a convenient mechanism for filtering HTTP requests entering your application. Basically, middleware acts as a bridge between a request and response. It is a type of filtering mechanism. If you check in your project directory, in the app HTTP, you will have the middleware folder. So whatever we are seeing in this folder is all our middleware. These are some predefined middleware which Laravel provides such as authentication, encrypt cookie, prevent request during maintenance, redirect if authenticated and like verify CSRF token and others. We can create our own middleware as per our own requirement. Suppose I need to check one URL will open for a particular case that time we can filter in this URL from others URL. So let's create our own middleware. To create middleware we need to use command that is php artisan make middleware. Suppose here my middleware name is check filtering. Okay, so here you can see the middleware created successfully. So just refresh your directory and if you check in middleware, we can see we have added the check filtering dot php. So this is our middleware and there is a class that is check filtering class and inside the class by default a function a handle will automatically generate it so whatever we will write our logic for middleware we can write in the handle function so here i just simply echo some text that is i am printing printing from middleware okay just save this and the middleware can be used from anywhere of your application it can be used from global level group level and route level so let's take an example for middleware for global access basically if we use the global level middleware then it will applicable for whole application so to use middleware we need to go inside the app http and inside the http we have a kernel.php so our middleware need to be registered in kernel.php okay so here we can see my kernel.php so inside the kernel.php we have the protected middleware array so inside the array we need to add our own middleware so just copy from previous and just add your middleware name so here my middleware name is check filtering okay so in this way we can register our own middleware so if we used in protected middleware array it can be accessible from globally so now run the application so php artisan serp okay so server is started so now refresh this page so i just refresh and we can see the printing from middleware which is printing from the middleware and let's open my routes so here my routes web.php so here in the root page we can see the printing from middleware and if we check our another page i have already built this page and if we check this students link so let's use the students link so here we also can see the printing from middleware so that means anywhere of your application this middleware is accessible so because we are using our middleware in globally so now we can understand how to use middleware globally so let's use middleware using group so if you use group level middleware it can be accessed from only that group 
so here we can see another array that is middleware group so here we can see the web array and the api array basically this is our routes so if you want to add a middleware inside our web.php we can add here or if you want to add the middleware for api.php we can add here so just remove from global section and paste it here in web group okay so here i am using my middleware in web array so it can be accessed from students link also and it can be accessed from our home page so basically we can using because in the web.php we have both links but if we check in our api.php and i'm just creating on route that is route and get suppose here i am creating a link that is suppose print name okay and i am using a closer function so that is function and i am returning suppose hi from learning points youtube channel So just go to this link so if you run this link the middleware will not applicable so just go to the slash api and the link so here we can see hi from learning points youtube channel but the middleware text is not displaying so here is my middleware text it is not displaying because we are using my middleware in the web array so let's shift it to the api and add it into the api so if we check in our api so here we can see printing from middleware and hi from learning points youtube channel now if we go to our web.php routes suppose i am using the home url so it is not displaying anything from my middleware and if we go to the students url it will also not display any text from the middleware because our middleware is now added in api group so we can understand how we can access middleware inside the group okay that's all about middleware in group level now how to apply middleware in route level so remove the middleware from group level and add in the route level so add this middleware here and provide the alias name suppose my alias name is check filter okay and if we use in route middleware array so it will applicable only for route level so to use route level array we need to use the check filter middleware name inside the routes so very simple just go to your web.php and if we click on middleware and inside this just provide the name check filter so inside the middleware if we add the check filter it will directly call to the route middleware this middleware that is check filtering middleware so here i am adding the middleware only in the students url so just go to the students url so let's open the browser and refresh this so we can see the printing from middleware but i have not added any middleware from the home page so if we go to the home page we will not get any output from middleware that means our middleware will be applicable only for the routes level so this is all about laravel middleware hope you understand this tutorial if you have any queries about this video please comment in the comment section next day we will discuss about laravel authentication please like and subscribe this channel for upcoming video thanks for watching this video bye bye